Hi guys. Oh my gosh. We're here with another cre My Creative Year, My Muse video. My Muse is all over the freaking place. <laughs> I think I said the same thing last month, but it's still true. This month she's focused on picking up old crafts that I used to do or that I haven't done in a long time. Sewing being one of them. This is my ugh, sewing machine. <clears throat> so I've made myself quite a few tops uh, in the last month and I have more designs that I want to work on. In fact, when I was at the fabric store, I found this. How cute is that? And I think I found an Etsy pattern that I want to uh, make that out, make out of that. So, <laughs> oh boy. So she's focused on sewing right now and I'm doing some resin tumblers, a little bit of painting and journaling. I just did the really big paintings. Um, if you haven't seen them yet, I'll put a picture here somewhere. Um, if you want to see what I'm up to every day, you can follow me on social media. And the list for all the social media sites is in the link tree list of links, which is in the description below. But yeah, she's really just all over the place. I've got a stack of patterns. I know, right? This is one I haven't made yet, but I'm going to make. I love this this jacket right here. It's so cute. I just have to find the right fabric. Um, I even drafted a pattern of my own. That's something I haven't done in probably 20 years or more. Good thing I wasn't too rusty. <laughs> but um, it's fun exploring and dabbling in um, old art styles, old craft styles, and also figuring out how I can incorporate them into painting and mixed media, which I'm also doing because as I'm, I find as I'm working on the sewing, I'm thinking of things I can do with the scraps, which are right underneath the camera or to the side of the camera, um, with, a, with the scraps in my art journals. So, you know, one hand feeds the other, right? So it's not always a bad thing if your muse gets sidetracked. It's not always, she's sidetracked right now because I'm looking at the woods. That's not a good thing. Um, <laughs> it's not always a bad thing. Let her explore where she needs to. It's okay to put some things down for a while and go explore something new and then go back to the other. You'll go back with a, a refreshed outlook, a new sense of purpose, and new creative ideas on how to do things, how to incorporate different things. It's not a bad thing. So I give my muse as much free reign as I can and still, dis, dis, um, still uh, conduct art business, because um, I am in the business of art, um, but I give her as much creative freedom as I can and still get the business part done. It's not a bad thing. Right now she's enjoying sewing. Next might be in some embroidery. I'm gonna be doing something with those fabric scraps. I've got the woven scraps and I've got a basket over there of knit scraps. I, got, I have ideas, people. Some of it involves more garment construction. If that's something you'd like to see in a video, future video, let me know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let your, let your muse do what she needs to. Mine right now, she's really having a fun time with sewing. It's crazy nuts. Um, I'm looking at indie pa pattern brands. I've found some good ones on Etsy. I will link below the um, Etsy shop and pattern that I just purchased to make um, that bee fabric out of. I think it's going to be really cute. I don't know. What, what's yours doing? What, what weird things is your muse up to? Because mine's just... I think she's gone insane. <laughs> anyway, if you would like to see what I'm up to and what she's inspiring me to do, you can, again, you can click on that link tree list of links and all of my social media is there. All of the places you can support the free content here and over on Facebook are also there. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And above all, go out and have a great day. Let your muse wander if that's what she needs to do right now. Do something nice for yourself and her. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.